Hi everyone, I'm John Wright. I'm going to talk about Generator X Biofeedback from the home folder of the presets. If you select Biofeedback, Generator X, you'll see there's a Generator X General Biofeedback Scan. If you're reading the notes, it says this is a generic contact mode biofeedback preset for Generator X. It may be the only biofeedback preset you need because it covers all frequencies ever discovered by Royal Rife, including the very high frequencies previously beyond reach of lesser machines. If we go to the control tab, allow generator overwrites and we click on our generator, you can see that the biofeedback scan will cover the range of 16 kilohertz and 18 megahertz that's 18 million cycles per second. Now, hardly any frequency generators can go up to 18 megahertz. Now, Generator X has no problem going up to 40 million hertz. Because the scan is covering such a broad range, every virus, every bacteria, every pathogen you could like to imagine, and those you would not like to imagine, will be discovered by this biofeedback scan. Back to the presets tab, Generator X can perform biofeedback scans much quicker than Spooky Pulse. Now there's two reasons for this. The first reason is Generator X is detecting electrical signals which travel very fast. How fast are electrical signals? Well they're not as fast as light, but they're not far from that speed. And so they're very much, as far as you and I are concerned, they can be regarded as pretty much instantaneous. The second reason why the biofeedback scans are much quicker is the response detected is a measurement of the electrical signals and does not rely on a physiological response like a heartbeat. Now, explaining this further, Spooky Pulse relies on monitoring the heartbeat of your body as a frequency scan is taking place. When a hit is detected, generally your heart rate will go up. And so there's a bit of a delay between when the frequencies are applied to your body and your body feeling the effects of the frequency and giving its physiological response. But Generator X is different than this. It measures the physical response of the electrical signal. And so Generator X puts a signal into your body and it measures how that signal changes according to the frequency rather than how your body responds to that frequency. And so the signal change is almost instantaneous. And so we don't need to rely on a very slow biofeedback mechanism to detect hits. Generator X is much faster. The notes go on further to say this preset is probably the only biofeedback required by Generator X. It detects the frequency of all microorganisms your body is lucky enough to have. Now when I say lucky, we both know that we're unlucky to have any sort of microorganisms in our body. Well, there are a few that are healthy, but many aren't and many we want to get rid of. Now how can this biofeedback scan preset detect all pathogens? If we go to the control tab, allow generator overrides and click on a generator, you'll see that the start frequency is 16 kilohertz. That's very low for a biofeedback scan. And look what the maximum finish frequency is. It's 18 million cycles per second. Now, not many frequency generators can go over 5 megahertz. A few can go over 10 megahertz, but the generator X can go up to 40 megahertz. That's 40 million cycles per second. This preset goes to 18 million cycles per second, so it's easily within grasp of the Generator X capabilities. Now what Royal Rife discovered were within the range of 76 kilohertz to roughly 17 megahertz. But we've taken this scan down to 16 kilohertz to get all the very, very large microorganisms that may be in your body. And the finished frequency is beyond that which is the highest frequency that Royal Rife discovered. So in generic language, this is really saying that 
every single germ, every single bug that's in your body is going to be hit at some point by this biofeedback scan. This preset is probably the only biofeedback preset required by Generator X because it covers such a broad range. It detects the frequency of all microorganisms your body is lucky enough to have. Unlike other biofeedback methods, Generator X does not need the contact pads far apart. In fact, it is better to have them close together. I'll explain further why. If the TENS pads are far apart, like we generally recommend for Spooky Pulse, the ratio of bad cells to good cells between the pads is very low. If you have cancer in your lungs, placing the TENS pads on your right wrist and left ankle will mean that most of the distance between the pads is through healthy tissue. The hits detected will be hidden by the noise of the good cells. And this isn't very good. When you want to listen to something, you want to listen to the pure signal. You don't want to listen to something over something else. It's like when you try to listen to music and you've got children playing nearby of course, they're making a lot of noise. It's better to be close to the music player so the sound is more clear. So we recommend that the TENS pads be as close as possible to the problem area. Now, there's no real limit to how close you can have the TENS pads. There are times when you may want to have them very, very close. You can have the one millimeter or even closer. In fact, the accuracy of the results becomes greater the closer you have them. The reason being, if you only have bad cells between the pads, the results will be pure and super accurate. There are fewer good cells to confuse results. Now remember earlier I was stating how Generator X detects the change in the signal going through your body. It doesn't rely on the physiological response that your body provides. And so if the signal is only going through bad cells, then only those results will come back you won't get the results of the good cells. And so it's very desirable to have the TENS pads or the whatever means you use to connect to your body to be as close as possible. If we go back to the control tab, we've already got the preset loaded because I ticked on allow generator overrides and you clicked on the generator. We'll start the scan. Now the scan is very fast. If you're used to using Spooky Pulse, you'll notice the change immediately. The graph just skims along. The estimated biofeedback duration here is three minutes. In reality, it's six minutes, or a little bit over that. This is just an estimate. During the scan, the current and the phase angle are both monitored, and the results will be presented to you at the end of the scan. In this demonstration, I have the outputs from the generator shorted, and so you won't see any big peaks from any pathogens that I may have, but you'll see that the line is fairly stable. You can see the frequencies increasing very quickly. Oh, it's already 38 kilohertz, and it started at 16 kilohertz. The higher the frequency goes, the faster the frequency will increase, because it's increasing by one eighth of a percent. Royal Rife stated that one quarter of 1% was adequate for detecting hits. We are choosing one half of that for increased accuracy. So we're using one eighth of 1% in this preset. Another point I want to mention is we are monitoring the current. If we go to the system tab, this option is selected which is log angle plus amps during biofeedback. Please always enable that if you can unless you really want to decrease your scan time. The reason is this, if you have this ticked at the end of a scan, if you want to redo the scan using the angle instead of milliamps as an option, you can click on analyze and use your previous data without having to sit for another six or five minutes or whatever to perform the scan again. The scan will then monitor the angle and give the results back. I would like to explain what is milliamps and what is angle and what does it all mean with biofeedback. 
It all sounds highly technical and it actually is quite technical. But I'll try and put it in plain English. Milliamps is the current passing through your body when a signal is being applied by generator X. The current is in units of milliamp. Current is when electricity goes through you. If a lot of electricity is passing through you, then a lot of milliamps will be passing through you. Phase angle can be explained like this. It's like when you're walking along and you have your child walking alongside you. If you walk slowly, your child can keep up with you. And if you walk quickly, the child will fall further away. If you start walking over rocks, the child will fall even further away because their legs are not as long as yours. The distance between yourself and your child is the phase angle. And the rocks represents viruses, bacteria and parasites, which may be in your body. Generator X can detect these pathogens by monitoring the phase angle. At the end of a scan, the results are shown. The frequencies and the respective values are shown here. The values are greater than the threshold of 0.4. In this demonstration, there's only two hits because I'm shorting out the output from generator X, and so it's not a valid biofeedback result. If I want to re-analyze the results, using the angle for detection and not changing any other parameters. I select angle, click on analyze, and I can see here that there was 176.36181 kilohertz. So I hope that I've explained to you what current is, the milliamps, or the phase angle. I have to make comment that this is a beta release, which I'm demonstrating. There will be slight changes in the final release, but the changes won't be great. And the underlying principles will still be valid. And so, just to summarize, Generator X has the ability to perform a biofibic scan, which is beyond the abilities of any other machine available today. It covers all the frequencies covered by Royal Rife, way beyond his range, actually. And it will tell you if you have any bacteria, viruses, any pathogens, parasites, it will pick it up in the scan. The closer you have the contact pads, the more accurate the results. So if you have, for example, a mole in your skin, place the pads either side of the mole. Unlike Spooky Pulse, if you have the pads far apart, the results will be less accurate. So because Generator X is so powerful, so fast, a preset can be made which does not take that long, just over six minutes, which will cover every single virus, every single bacteria, every single parasite known to mankind. Thank you so much for watching this video.